John, last week I was amazed to hear you talking about a Welshman calling 999 because he was frightened of the moon. I don't believe that story for a second. Not because he didn't know what it was, more that the police actually turned up to investigate. <laughs> the police turning up to investigate something, if you call them, I simply won't accept that that has ever happened. It's, uh, this is uh, true, and especially true, it turns out, if you live in the town centre of Bodmin in Cornwall. Uh, I have here, then, a genuine recent complaint, and it reads like this, OK. Dear Sir, stroke Madam, stroke Automated Telephone Answering Service. <laughs> Having spent the last 20 minutes waiting for someone at Bodmin Police Station to pick up a telephone, I have decided to abandon the idea and try emailing you instead. I live in St Mary's Crescent, and as I write, there are 11 failed medical experiments, brackets, I think you call them youths, close bracket, <laughs> hanging round the pavement outside my house like dog turds with huds on. <laughs> Six of them are happily rummaging through bags of rubbish and items of furniture that someone has so thoughtfully dumped beside the wheelie bins. One of the little gits has found a saw and is setting about a discarded chair like a little git who's found a saw. <laughs> I fear that it's only a matter of time before they turn their limited attention to the bottle of Calagas that is lying on its side between the two bins. If they could be relied upon to only blow their own arms and legs off, then I would happily leave them to it. I would even go so far as to lend them the matches. <laughs> Unfortunately, they are far more likely to blow up half the street with them, and I've just finished decorating the kitchen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let us salute, I think, for a moment. There, Mr. Mr. Angry of Bodmin, he's got a point. But then, and you won't have been expecting this, as doubtless he wasn't either, he got a reply from the police. Dear sir, I understand your frustration at the problems caused by youths playing in the area and the problems you've encountered in trying to contact the police. As the community beat officer for your street, I would like to extend an offer of discussing the matter fully with you. Regards, Community Beat Officer, St Mary's Crescent, Bodmin. Right, well, you know what happens when you jab a stick into a wasp's nest? OK? Our man wrote back. Dear sir, first of all, I would like to thank you for the speedy response to my original email. 16 hours and 38 minutes must be a personal record for Bodmin Police Station. And rest assured that I will forward these details to the late Norris McWhorter for inclusion in his next book. <laughs> I am delighted to hear that our street has its own community beat officer. May I be the first to congratulate you on your covert skills? <laughs> in the five or so years I've lived in St Mary's Crescent, I have never seen you. Do you hide up a tree or have you gone deep undercover and infiltrated the gang itself? <laughs> it's surely only a matter of time before you are headhunted by MI5, yours, etc, etc, man in St Mary's Crescent. P.S. If you think that this is sarcasm, think yourself lucky that you don't work for the council cleansing department, with whom I am also in contact. <laughs> P.P.S. They wrote to invite me to a meeting, but I didn't go because the biscuits were gay. <laughs> I may have made that last bit up. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the message is this. Support your local sheriff, but if they don't support you, give them both barrels of your pen. Thank you very much indeed.